are you excited to welcome in 2022 with a bright, happy card? Hi, I'm Jess from JessCrafts.com, and I'm going to help you make the most of your crafty supplies and time. So let's get started. Today, I have some fun products from MFT, and I'm going to share with you One Sheet Wonder number 32. This is with 6x6 paper, creating an A2 size card. I have many other sizes of cards, as well as um, you know a number of templates for each one. But today's is A2, and I am going to be a little bit out of order with some of my One Sheet Wonders. So if you're thinking, hey, where's video for the video for number 31? All of the templates are available in order on my blog. What the videos are going to come out more as I have cards to make for them, and hopefully I'll get back on track. But the ideas are coming faster than the videos right now. I want to pick some paper from the Party Time collection. By taking the image that I've already picked out with this cheering little girl, and she's all colored in according to colors from the collection, I see that she doesn't really stand out on that bright paper that had all of the colors. And in fact, she actually stands out more on this white paper, which isn't necessarily what I expected, but that's why I like being able to have my image sometimes ahead of time to know. Now, I'm actually not going to share the coloring today just because I have colored this image in the past, and so I'll link that video if you're really curious. I will list in the video description the colors that I chose though. This one sheet wonder is super simple. From one sheet of six by six paper, you actually get four cards. You're going to cut the six by six paper into one and a half inch squares, and you'll get 16 of them in all, so four for each card. And then you're going to cut whatever you want for your mats at one and three quarters by one and three quarters, another square. I chose the ripe raspberry cardstock from MFT. A lot of times I will actually use recollections cardstock and I'm quite happy with it, but sometimes there's certain colors that you just can't get. And so I picked a few colors up from MFT recently. And this is great because I know everything will coordinate as I am going to use paper from them. I arrange all of the squares at the top of the card and I'm leaving room for the sentiment at the bottom of the card. You, of course, do not have to put your sentiment in the same place that I am going to, but that is just my suggestion for this card. I have customized the sentiment by adding the 2022, and the sentiment is, um, this is me cheering you on. So we'll read 2022, this is me cheering you on. It's a little bit of an unconventional Happy New Year type sentiment, but I thought it worked and was in terms of being encouraging. And I also think that it could be interpreted either way. You could be in cheering on 2022 and hoping it's a great year, or it's you cheering on your recipient. And that works perfectly with the little girl who's um, cheering there in the background. I intentionally chose pink for the sentiment and the background, but then didn't add any pink to the little girl because I want her to pop off of those colors more. So everything else, you know, there's just the pink and then that white with the little dabs of color but she is this really bright blue, and so she really stands out, and that was an intentional choice there. I used Catherine Pooler Party Dress Ink, and that I don't have, there's MFT Red or Ripe Raspberries, which would coordinate perfectly, but I don't actually have that, so I may do with another one in my collection. And then I cut the 2022 Sentiment from a little tiny MFT number die set that's no longer available. I'm going to line them up on my craft mat, then I'm going to pick them up with some low tack tape and they'll be straight. I'll add my glue, adhere it to the card. And because I'm adhering it all at one time, I don't have to line them up again. I've already done that hard part. And then I'll let the glue dry for a few minutes before I peel up that low tack tape. I like that this delicate frog tape is see-through, so it helps you to line things up, but something like a post-it note tape or a scrapbook.com mint tape would also work well. I'm going to pop up the little girl with a scrap of cardstock just to give her a tiny bit of dimension. And then, like I said, I'll peel that off. If you found this video inspiring, here's another video where you can find more ideas for enjoying your crafty time and supplies. Let me know you like this video with a share to your crafty community. Subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss the next template tutorial. And check the video description for product links. See you in the next video.